What does it mean that you guys haven't beaten them in seven years? Um, it just means we haven't won in seven years and that uh, we need to go out and win. Uh, it's a rise to an occasion for us. Uh, we definitely have a challenge. Uh, Florida's a great team, but we've been working hard and uh, our work has been showing off in these games. And, uh, and you know, we're all excited and we can't wait till Saturday. Do you sense a different level of maybe intensity for this game than maybe in previous years? Uh, definitely simply because, you know, they're ranked. Game time is coming, you know, and I mean, we've just been looking forward to this moment all summer. We, we know we could have gotten to this position and now we're here and now we just got to handle business. Does it kind of feel like maybe Tennessee's getting back on the map maybe or those are a couple of signs? Yeah, but we just have to continue. I don't want, like, you can't let that stuff slow you down in your yeah. process and your preparation. It's just something you have to go out there and keep taking it one week at a time. College game day being here is going to help us beat Florida. Uh, we just got to go out and execute. Does this feel like maybe the biggest game for you guys in terms of hype and atmosphere? I would say so. Last year we were sort of sitting in the same position, but unfortunately last year we had a, a couple of injuries here and there with Justin Hunter. So I think once Justin Hunter got injured last last year, I think we kind of came out flat after that. So this this uh, year, I think we got a more experienced guys on the team, and hopefully everyone can stay healthy and we can compete. Through the years that you faced Florida, what, what's the thing that has impressed you most about the Gators? Uh, I would say they capitalized on all, all, all our mistakes. Every time we made a mistake here and there, and uh, I would probably say the main thing is special teams. I think almost every year we played, they sort of made a big special teams play on us. So this week in practice, even today, uh, we, we put in punt, punt, return. Coach Dooley was out there screaming and uh, hollering. So I think we're gonna get it, get the job done this week. He's a pretty good mobile quarterback. He can uh, he can move around a little bit, which means uh, makes our job a little harder. We got to keep that guy in the pocket. But uh, like I said, it's a it's a challenge and. Uh, as a defensive lineman, we're excited about it. Do you, do you prevent yourself or not allow yourself to get overly aggressive with a quarterback like that just for fear that he might get away, or how, how do you approach that? Uh, I, I think the best way is to go after him. You know what I mean? Uh, you sit back and just let the guy throw the ball around. He's a pretty good passer, too. So, you know, our philosophy is we might as well go ahead and go get him and uh, try our best to go get after that guy. We know Ford is going to hit some plays on us, but we also know we're going to hit plays on them, too. And so they just got to stay even kill when we get hit by that buzzsaw and just keep fighting. How important is it to not let them get off to a good start and you think, okay, here we go, we're going to beat right. Tennessee eight straight now? Well, anytime we can knock them out of their rhythm and uh, put the momentum in our favor, you know, it'll make it tough on them and then they'll have the challenge to see if they can react to the bus off. Having grown up here, describe to me what the Tennessee photo rivalry means to you. Oh, it's everything, you know, it's bragging rights. It, uh, you know, it, it, in a way, it kind of it kind of sets the pace for the rest of the year. You know, I mean, you can't just you can't just hold on to one game, but you know, it's something that we definitely have on our mind in the off season, every season. Have you talked to your friends at all that are going to be going to game day? Or yeah, a little bit. Of everybody's been asking for tickets, and they, you know, everybody's going to be at that game. When I was growing up, of course, Spurrier was a coach there, um, and I grew up in East Tennessee, so the school, the high school he went to, was right there beside us. And so it's one of those things you just always wanted to beat up. Um, but this week we just can't get caught up in too much of that because you can get over high and then you'll fall flat. Do you yeah. remember the 2004 game at all? You know, you were like 11 or something. Yeah, I was too young. That was the Pee Wee days. <laughs> James, do you remember growing up in Nashville that this game was big, that the Florida game has always been big? Uh, yeah, I knew it was big. Do you, do you remember the last time Tennessee beat them in 2004? Do you remember watching that or anything? I can't tell you I did, <laughs> man. <laughs> I was probably some way eating Cheetos or something. <laughs>